Well, good morning and welcome to the Saturday Morning Power Breakfast. As you know, the purpose of these Saturday Morning Power Breakfasts is to, uh, well, let me, is to equip you. You know, my name is Tony Stewart of Tony and Angie Stewart. And uh, our goal, you know, 95% of all people by the time they reach age 65 are either dead, broke, or still working. Our goal and our mission is to help people who don't want to be a part of that, who want to be a part of the 5% Club, get a hold of kingdom principles, success principles, and financial principles so that they can be in that 5% Club. And we do that through systems. And we not only provide systems, we teach the systems, and we support you in implementing those systems into your life. Well, today I want to talk to you about a warning. I want to talk to you about the fact that you are being cooked, and I want to explain what that means. First off, I have to start with a story. I woke up a couple of days ago, and as I was going through my emails in the morning, I noticed I had a, a bill for my electric company. So I opened the bill up, and I live here in Ohio, where in the latter part of the year, uh, what tends to happen is the electric bills go down while the gas bills go up. Well, I opened my electric bill f fully expecting to see it be you know, lower than it was the month before. And what happened was it had actually gone up by three times. Three times. It was three times as much. So the first thing I thought was, oh my goodness, there must be something going on. Uh, there must be a leak somewhere, something like that. And then I took the two bills out and I really compared them. And what happened was um, the previous bill was part of a plan because typically when you get order these utilities, you order them on a 36 or a 24 month plan or whatever, and it locks in a rate. Well, the, the rate had expired. And um, so without the rate, it went out to the whatever the market price was, which was three times as much. Now I'm telling you all this for this reason. Now, I feel blessed and I'm definitely blessed that, you know, when I, when I looked at it, it was not like a budget buster. It was a nuisance. I was like, well, why did this happen? And uh, so I started looking to see what rates were out there. And sure enough, the market rates were three times as much as I had locked in a few years ago. And it just went to show me, you know, I was talking to Angie about it. She's like, well, what happened? And I said, honey, this is what we talk about. And we talk about what's going on in this economy, what's going on with people's finances, what's going on from the standpoint that there's a coming economic earthquake that I think most people aren't ready for. And if there's anything that's going to be a danger to you and in getting into that 5% club is an economic earthquake which messes you up. So the reason I say you're being cooked, you know, if you took a frog and you put him into a, you know, into a, a coal pot of water the frog would look in there and he'd be like ah well it's comfortable in here he'd just rip it around and he'd just be swimming around in a pot it wouldn't be any big deal because that's an environment that he can he'd be comfortable in but what happens if you're slowly turning up the thermostat or the temperature on that pot and you're slowly turning it up and slowly turn it up Guess what? If you turn it all the way up, the frog would just jump right out, right? Because he'd be like, no, it's too hot in here. I'm done. I'm gone. But because you do it gradually, because it happens gradually, you could get yourself, that frog, to a point where that frog is cooked before he know it. Because these things happen gradually. Well, my friends, the same kind of thing is happening gradually in the real world. And the same thing is happening to you, whether you know it or not. Now, first, I'm going to tell you um, why you might not know it. You might not know it because one of the biggest things that happen in our environment, hey, Michelle, the one of the biggest things that happens in our environment is distraction. People are distracted. They're so busy trying to get the next dollar that they don't have time to think. I've mentioned before how Robert Kiyosaki, when he wrote uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, he had a sequel to that book uh, that was called Retire Rich, Retire Young. And in there, he talks about the fact that his expenses each month were $5,000 a month. But he had gotten to the point with his investments and his business interests and so forth that he had a $10,000 a month income coming in. And once he had gotten to that point, he 
got out of the rat race. I'm looking over here at my cash flow game. You know, in a game, you do a number of things. You make a, a, a bunch of different financial moves until you can get out, of the cash, uh, get out of the rat race, which means that you have more money coming in from residual sources than your desired monthly living expenses, or at least your monthly living expenses as they are. When Robert Kiyosaki got out of uh, the rat race, he said the number one thing it gave him, it wasn't the cars, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, the houses, it wasn't all these things. The number one thing it gave him was time. Time to think. And you see, that's what happens to most people. They're so busy just dealing with stuff that they don't have time to think. They're on a treadmill. You know, um, there's a book by Napoleon Hill called Outwitting the Devil. And this book you know, it's it's a book. It's like a C.S. Lewis type book in that he interviews the devil in this book. And, you know, and the devil says of all the things that I have in my arsenal to to mess people up. The number one thing I have in my arsenal to mess people up is I can cause them to drift, to drift through life, to be what's called a wandering generality. That's something that Zig Ziglar used to say he say that so many people live their lives as wandering generalities instead of being meaningful specifics so you know you can find out but what's happening with Car the kardashians and kanye or ye or whatever his name is and you'll find that if you have news sources coming to your phone it's full with a bunch of junk it's full with with stuff that doesn't matter it's not going to help you get into that five percent club and I'm telling you, if you let it, it will totally distract you. You see, we're in a period of time here. And by the way, before I even go into this, I want, I want you to understand the period of time we're in. And you might want to write all this down because and go back and review this. Because I will really believe that this whole video is a call to action. It's a call to awareness that you take the time and you make it a priority to understand where we are in this time and place and be a part of of not only to a solution for yourself, but empower yourself to be able to be a solution to others. Now, there's a link you can get to somewhere around here that talks about the Octagon Method. Get that free resource. That is a nine or 10 module course that teaches you step by step how to successfully have another source of income in cracks of time. That's exactly what it's for, to help you create another source of income in cracks of time. Why is that so important? Because of the times that we're going in. You know, a few years ago, the whole world was locked down, right? And no one was doing things. A lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people were furloughed. They were sent home and their jobs never came back. It never came back. But so for some people, the jobs did come back. But when they came back, when they came back, oh my goodness, people had a different mindset when they came back. They had a mindset where they knew that in a large part, a lot of the jobs they did were jobs they could do from home because they had been for a period of time. And guess what? They had the realization that they always could have worked from home or work remotely or these types of things. And some companies had to do things that allow for that now that they hadn't done before. And I think it's an awesome thing. But here's the thing. Another thing that came out of that time was a understanding and a realization that there's more to life than just earning a job, uh, income. There's more to life than that. And what happened was something that the economists will always call, and for our history, we, we're living through history, my friend, the great resignation. You may have heard that term before. If you're not, Google it. The great resignation. So many people said, yeah, you let me come back on my job, but eh, I want to do something else with my life. And they made the decision to go off and do things that really matter to them because they got the urgency. They got the understanding. They understand the, understood the importance of doing something else with their lives and they made a move. All right. Now, some people said, oh my goodness, I'm staying, but because I need, you know, I need a job. I can't afford to just walk off no matter how much I want to do something else. But then we went into that second phase. 
and that, or maybe you can call it the third phase if you count what the lockdown is one, um, the great resignation is two. We went to number three. What's number three? We went to what's called quiet quitting. I'm not making this stuff up. Google it. Quiet quitting, where people said, okay, I'll be on the job, but I'm going to disengage to the point where I do as little as possible to keep my job, keep this income rolling in. But I'm not going to be fired up. I'm not going to live a purpose. I'm not going to be engaged. I'm just going to be kind of there, you know, the walking dead. And, you know, and you can see this in a lot of corporate America. You can see it in people who are driving to work to just no life to them. Why? Because they're going somewhere they don't want to go because they don't have the resources to do otherwise. So they're just kind of going through life like that. Not a great way to go through life, right? So you got people that, so now they went from the great resignation to quiet quitting, all right? And so they're doing that. And guess what? Another thing that happened on the other end is that companies start realizing how few people they actually needed. And once they understood how few people they actually needed, guess what? They started letting people go. So now we go from lockdown to the great resignation, right? To quiet quitting. Yeah, again, you can Google all these things. And then you go to what's now called loud layoffs. Loud layoffs. Now, what's that? what does that mean? That means that companies now, because of the economic downturn that we're going into, and believe me, this is just the beginning of it. Because of the economic downturn that we're going into, companies are realizing how few people they actually need to get the job done. And what's happening is, it used to be a time where, okay, I'm a white collar worker, so I'm safe. The blue collar workers were displaced by machines and so forth, but the white collar workers are all good. Not anymore. What you're hearing is all these tech giants who are laying off tens of thousands of people. I just heard about Amazon has over 20,000 people that they're letting go, including upper management. Okay. This is happening right now. Now you might say, well, Tony, why are you telling me this? What am I supposed to do? What you're supposed to do is twofold. Number one, a person who can bring answers to this marketplace will succeed crazily. You know, in every da economic downturn, there were people who leaned into it, who brought solutions to the table. And as a result of bringing solutions to the table, not only did they prosper, but they helped other people prosper. And if you're willing to be that person, if you're willing to be the person who says, I'm going to bring solutions, I'm not going to be a statistic. I'm going to be someone who stops people from being a statistic. The reason for the octagon method.com is that we want to empower you with systems that will allow you to be able to be an answer to this marketplace. I hope you're getting that. I hope you're getting a search, sense of urgency that now is the time to do something to create a different life for you and your family and the people around you. You can be a change agent. You can be a world changer. You know, this economic bad time won't last forever. And as people come out, out of it, as the world comes out of it, you can be someone, number one, who prospered through it, but you can be not only a success. You know, we talk about success being the progressive realization of a worthy ideal or goal. Well, get this, getting to the 5% club, helping people, that is success, my friend. Every step you take toward it, even getting a hold of the octagonmethod.com and actually starting to go through it makes you a success. Why? Because you're progressing toward that goal. But not only can you then be a, a success, but let me tell you, by blessing other people, you become significant. You start going into a life of significance. What's beyond success? Significance. Where you're impacting the lives of people in a positive, wonderful way. And I totally want that for you. And the reason I wanted to come on here today, I know we've been doing debriefs of events. You can go back and watch those replays. Great, a lot of great stuff there. I appreciate all the comments about it. Here's my goal. Again, our goal is to help people get in that 5% club. And how do we do that? By sharing and teaching kingdom principles, success principles, financial principles. But then not only having those things taught, you know, because there's a lot of people out there who will teach stuff, but also then providing systems and promoting those systems and showing you how to promote systems that will help you implement those things into a daily method of operation so that you can move further and further down the road and closer and closer to your goals and dreams. 
So go to the OctagonMethod.com. Be blessed. I'm fired up for you. Don't be a wandering generality. Be a meaningful, specific. The whole goal this morning was to give you a wake-up call that you can make a change. You don't, it doesn't have to be this way. You can do something different. Go to the OctagonMethod.com. Have a great week. Be blessed. Make this week a masterpiece.